Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today is November 29th, 2023, and we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now, Cancer. Let's see what's coming through, what messages we're passing along to the collective today. Wow, golly gee, you're going to be happy, happy. Oh, we have chopped wood. All right, that's a very conflicting energy. Chop wood is closing the door behind you. Sweep something in the past. And that's going to make you very happy, happy. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here and what you need to know right now. And Kansa, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. We have the four swords. That's what you need to know right now. We have the eight of wands. That's how it's going to affect you. We have the two of pentacles. That's your advice or actions to take. On the bottom of the deck, there you are. I kind of feel like letting something go is going to feel good, going to be feel amazing. I feel there's a little bit of closure, but with the four swords, I kind of feel like it's like an energy of withdrawing, biting your tongue, letting something go and doing what's best for you here. It's prioritizing yourself. What does Cancer need to know about this four swords energy? Right now, what do we need to know? You're making the right decision is what I'm hearing. Ooh, justice, four of pentacles, three of pentacles, the devil, and strength. Whoa. Uh... This is a, well, this is like a relationship where there's love. Uh, you still want this person and desire them on a physical level. It might not be easy to walk away from this, um, but you know that that's the best thing for you to do. Now, um, for those of you where this is not love, um, this could be just something very toxic and unhealthy, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. Um, but this is having the strength and the courage. It could be overcoming an addiction, like it could be quitting smoking. Um, when I quit smoking, I gained 100 pounds, so... Watch your eating if you're quitting smoking. <laughs> you can gain weight quite easily. Food tastes so good when you quit smoking. Um, but either way, it could just be quitting an addiction, not drinking, not token smoking, uh, maybe cutting out sugar. Um, this is an addiction and having the strength to overcome it, whether it's whatever this addiction is, whatever this vice is, could be a person, could be a job, could be a situation, could be a person. If it wasn't healthy for you um, and you've really put a lot of effort into letting this go. I do feel for some of you it's some kind of vice or an addiction, right? Drinking, smoking, that kind of thing. And you're letting it go and you're pulling yourself out of that energy. You know it's what's best, but you also know it's going to be hard, right? And just take one day at a time. The cravings are temporary. They will leave. I've overcome several addictions in my life. It's not easy, um, but you can do it. You just take it one day at a time and you know that you'll be happier in the long run for it. Um, this is hard work and effort. This is going to create the stability. And it's going to give you everything you want. The principle of cause and effect, right? Just think about COPD and cancer if you're quitting smoking. Someone's quitting smoking. Because I look, look at this guy. He's holding a cigarette in his mouth here. Um, or it could be token or smoking something if you know what I'm saying. Um, it's legal in Canada, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm just saying, uh, just think of the long-term consequences of whatever that vice is, whatever this habit is, whatever it is that you're sweeping behind you here, uh, Cancer, because justice is principle of cause and effect. It's understanding that every action you take will have a positive or a negative consequence, right? I once read a stat that if it's drugs, they put a hole in your brain the size of a golf ball just by doing it once. Well, think about your brain, baby, because when you're 80, you fucking want your brain. You can age with grace or not, and the choice is yours. So just think about the long-term consequences of whatever this vice is that you're letting go here. Um, and continue to take it day by day and knowing that if it's something that is physical, those cravings will not be there forever. They're just temporary and you just got to take it day by day, step by step, step by step and allow yourself to progress because the eight of wands is forward movement. That means you'll see a big change in your life. Our bodies are designed to heal. So if it is something physical that, that, that hurts your body, you will heal from that in due time. What else do you want to say about the eight of wands here for Kanta? Death and judgment. Be realistic with yourself, too. If you, whoa, whoa, holy shit. The tower. This is going to, there's a page of pentacles. There's the queen of swords. Oh, my God. It's like, I don't know, for whoever's quitting smoking, it's like you're at work, but your favorite co-worker's a smoker. So it's like, it's like, let's go on the break, cancer, and smoke. And you're like, no, I'm trying not to smoke. I'm on the patch. Um, this is really being firm. This is really touching, tapping into your spiritual element of yourself. Looking at this from a different perspective, right? It might be a struggle one day to overcome that craving. But the next day it'll get easier. If you slip up and make a mistake, that's okay. Um, start again. <laughs> it was just a slip up. It was just a mistake. You know, if it's alcohol and you had a drink or a cooler or something, that's okay. Just wake up the next day. It's a fresh day. It's a new dawn. Um, the Eight of Wands is just continue to move forward. Take this day by day. Allow things to progress and give yourself patience as you're going through this and look at it from a different perspective, right? It's all about perspective. And when you're quitting something or letting something go, it's all the way that you look at it that helps. It's all in the mind, right? It is literally in the mind. Um, and this is really putting an end to being overcritical of yourself. 
Uh, you have to have confidence. I feel like that's what this is, is you might be a perfectionist. You might be critical. You might not have confidence. You can do this or whatever that energy is, whatever advice you're letting go of here, Cancer. But know that you can have the utmost faith. And if you make a mistake, if you have a setback, if your thoughts get the best of you and you have that smoke, talk, drink, whatever it is, that's okay. You just reset, wake up the next morning and start again. Just continue to move forward because you will be much happier letting this go and removing this from your life. Chances are you'll be much healthier too, depending on what it is. Um, now the two of pentacles. You're thinking a lot about it. Distract yourself, I feel. Keep yourself busy. There's the devil. There's that vice again. There's the page of wands. There, It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? What I'm thinking, like, I'm just thinking about when I was quitting smoking and you, I'd be sitting there when I'm stressed out and having a bad day and it's like, just have that cigarette, just have that cigarette. But um, they're thinking a lot about whatever this vice is. And this page of wands, I feel, is this vice, like talking to you. And I feel like the message is to distract yourself. Keep yourself busy. If it's an addiction, if it's a person, <laughs> if you're addicted to a person that's not healthy for you, whatever it is, just keep yourself busy. Attract and, you know, do a house renovation. Keep busy with your family and friends. Keep yourself occupied with work. You know, keep yourself, keep your hands busy. I know for smoking, that's why I turned to chips, which was the worst thing to do. Don't do that. That was a mistake I made. Um, but keep your hands busy because you're probably used to smoking, right? You're keeping your hands busy. So it's just an energy of distracting yourself and not letting the craving come through and just having patience because that craving, I think I read, a, I think it's, uh, uh, don't quote me on this, but I remember reading and I think it was 10 seconds. It lasts 10 seconds and then you just got to get over that hump. So you just got to get over that willpower and stay very strong and determined um, and not let your, your thoughts and this little craving or this inkling or this desire for this um, get in the way. And just remember, it's 10 seconds. It's temporary. Distract yourself. Um, have an almond if you're quitting smoking. Because if you ever have a cigarette after an almond, it's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting. So have an almond, then have a cigarette. And you're like, fuck, I don't want that cigarette. Um, just do something like that. Find something to trigger the vice as not being beneficial to you. And flip the way that you're looking at it and seeing how this addiction, whether it's a person, a drug, a, 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 whatever it is. Um, the devil's here again and you're thinking a lot about this. So um, you're craving it. And this is just knowing that that craving is temporary. It will leave. And uh, have very strong willpower to overcome this. And one strategy is to distract yourself and keep yourself very busy as you're overcoming the willpower to, to overcome that craving or that toxic energy or that vice, whatever it is here, Cancer. Because you will be very happy and proud of yourself for letting that energy go. All right, that's what I have here. That's what's up. That's what's going down. <laughs> so let's grab some oracles here, Cancer, and we'll see. Um, we'll get back to the tarot. We'll see what's going on. Spirit so guys, what do cancer need to surrender to when it comes to letting this go? Worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart, and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Lesson here for Kensa. What is the lesson for Kensa? What do we got? Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okie dokie, Smokey. All right, energy oracle message here. So guys, what's the energy oracle message to help Cancer let this go? Sweep this chapter behind them. All right, what do we got? All tied up. Ah, Yeshua. Okay, the temple path. Um, all tied up is having, it's being, it's being, it's like being trapped. So you may have felt trapped by this habit or this person or the situation, this, this vice, whatever the devil is, you may have felt trapped. And having a really difficult time letting it go. The healer of the ages is representing of inner healing. Christ consciousness is with you and let Jesus come to you. Let him heal you. Let that energy flow through you. Um, because this is your journey. You're, you're meant to overcome this. Whatever's going on here. Um, it's going to create a lot of healing within yourself. And your spirit team is guiding you and watching you always. And if it is a physical addiction, binaural beats are amazing. So are guided meditations, um, self-hypnosis. And if you're going to try the self-hypnosis, you know, doing it when you're in the theta brainwave. So right before bed. All right, when you wake up, when you're sleepy, it's the best time to reprogram your subconscious to remove the desire for whatever this is that's, I feel it's harming you. And that's why you're going to feel so good when you let it go. Um, but know that you're on the right path. This is what you're meant to learn in this lifetime. You can and absolutely overcome this and it will create that healing energy within yourself. It could even activate Christ consciousness. We all have the ability to activate Christ consciousness in this life. It's our choice to activate it or not. And I do feel like it's activating within you, kind of letting go of vices and things that don't. And as your frequency rises, certain things fall off. You can't do it anymore. You just can't handle it anymore as your frequency gets up there, right? Drinking, smoking, those types of things, partying, unhealthy people, <laughs> unhealthy habits. Uh, as your frequency rises and as you're healing, you can't, your body can't handle that anymore. It's not healthy for you. And you recognize that and you start to look at it from a different perspective. 
I do feel for many of you, you're letting go of something that's not quite right for you. All right, here at Cancer, let's see what other messages your spirit guides want to pass along today. Spirit guides, talk to us. What other messages you want to pass along to Cancer about letting this go? What else do you want to say, baby? What else do you want to say? It's very hard. There's a three of swords. It's going to be hard work. Okay. It's going to be hard work, but with the determination and the effort, you can overcome this cancer. The Eight of Pentacles is mastering your craft. It's working hard. It's determination. It's resilience. It's persistence. If you fall off track, if you make a bad choice, who gives a fuck? Forgive yourself. Tomorrow's a new day. Wake up. Um, wake up to a new day. <laughs> I meant like wake up to a different day. Um, this is going to be hard. There's going to be some challenges. I do feel for many of you, it's like I do feel some kind of physical addiction. It could be a person that you're physically addicted to and, and it's hurting. There's an element of pain. Um, but this is just an element of knowing that that is just temporary. That is not a permanent feeling. Emotions, cravings, those energies are just temporary. And with hard work, perseverance, and determination, you'll overcome that. And you'll go from that state of being to that state of being. So the Six of Pentacles is asking for help when you need help, giving help when you need help. It is a, tis a season, so maybe do some charity work, give back. It always makes you feel good, especially when you're not feeling well. It's an excellent way to distract yourself as well um, to help those that are less fortunate. It also helps to put things into perspective as well when you see those who have less. Um, so I just got this feeling of um, perseverance and determination, and they just want me to remind you that is just temporary. It's not permanent. You will not feel that way for long. Very soon you'll feel that way. You'll have a sense of pride, contentment, and you'll be much happier and healthier in the end for going through this transition here and letting go of whatever that is that's not serving your soul anymore cancer it's time to let that go that's what i'm hearing and that's what i have and that's what your spirit guides want to say today so cancer i do hope you enjoyed your reading i do wish you the best of luck i know you can do it baby um and let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question spirit guides yes or no what's the answer for cancer are you ready baby yes that's what i have cancer i really do wish you the best of luck until next time.